So I want to talk to you guys about how to lose fat faster, especially if you're a busy, high performer, busy schedule. Uh, a lot of people want to know, like, how do we speed up this process? And I, I totally get it. So the first thing I would just ask yourself is, is the juice worth the squeeze? So I'm going to give you some strategies that will work to lose fat faster. But if you're coming into a fat loss phase and you don't have, at, at a bare minimum, the basics dialed in. And what I mean by basics is you have an understanding of calories. So you know roughly how many calories you eat, how many calories you need to lose fat. If you don't have a basic understanding around appetite control, like how do you actually control an appetite? How do you avoid you know, binge eating, things of that nature? If you have a healthy relationship with food, great. You know, If you don't, I would highly suggest starting there first. Because the strategies I'm going to give you, and especially the one I'm going to give you towards the end of the video, will take more willpower. It will take a, at least a, an attention to detail that's higher than what you know the standard fat loss protocols require. If you don't have the habit of working out and being purposely more active, then you need to build those habits first because... The, here, the funny thing is when people jump into fat loss, there's going to be some challenges no matter what. Like even if you're advanced, even if you've been doing this for a long time, there will be times where you have to push through some discomfort. So if you haven't established like a baseline around your routines, it's like going from chapter one to chapter 20 and missing the whole main part of the story, right? you got to understand why things are happening, why you're doing this. So I'm here to give you some valuable strategies to lose fat faster, especially as you know some of the stuff that's worked for me as a busy dad, busy parent. But I just want to make sure before we jump into them that you're fully prepared. So if you are, keep watching and let's let's get into it. All right. So the first strategy I want to give you is more around intermittent fasting. Um, intermittent fasting. I've done videos, plenty of videos on intermittent fasting. Long story short, intermittent fasting is simply going longer periods of time without food. Um, the standard fast is to skip breakfast, wait till lunchtime to eat, and then have your last meal you know, sometime around 7, 8 o'clock at night, and then do the whole process over again. If you've ever tried fasting, it's probably a good way to lower your calories significantly and feel like you're eating more than you really are because you're shortening the window of time that you're eating. Instead of eating you know, six meals a day, small meals, you're always hungry, your stomach never gets filled up. You eat two to three meals a day that are larger, maybe less total calories, but you feel full, you feel more satisfied. Great strategy. Now, you take it a step further with fasting and you start pushing your fasts longer, okay? This isn't something you have to do all the time, but it is a pretty solid strategy if you're trying to speed things up. Now, you don't have to do these crazy long fasts, right? There's you know, people out there who fast for 48 hours, 72 hours, and honestly, even like 96 hours, which I'll tell you personally, I've never done. I, I don't find that it's beneficial or worthwhile for me considering that I'm a pretty active person. And at some point, my body just isn't responding favorably to not eating. So my first suggestion is see if you can fast 20 hours, all right? So you shrink your eating window down to like three to four hours, maybe call it five o'clock in the afternoon to eight or nine o'clock at night and then you start that process over again. What you'll find is that you feel almost euphoric once you get into the later part of the day. You've gone without any calories, maybe you've had some caffeine, and all of a sudden, food just kind of becomes like less of a big deal. Your appetite goes like, you know, basically to zero, for at least for a lot of people. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to eat, at least for a few, you know, a few days during the week, a lot less calories than you normally would. So thus, you start to lose fat a lot faster, okay? Now, why does this work so well for busy people like me? Well, I'm busy, right? So if I don't have to worry about food, it makes life almost easier, right? So I'm just not eating, I'm just drinking electrolytes, water, black coffee with maybe a little bit of Splenda, and zero calorie beverages to just keep my appetite at bay, and I'm staying active, I'm doing work, and I just don't think about food. So that's strategy number one that I think a lot of people are will, will be low-hanging fruit for a lot of people. So let's go to strategy number two. Now, I'm a huge fan of a balanced nutrition approach. What I mean by that is, 
you know, getting enough protein, having some carbs, having some fat. Um, but for some people, they want to see the number on the scale move and they really want to double down on controlling their appetite. Because I got to be honest, like when you're busy, you got a lot going on. One of the biggest hurdles you'll have is your appetite. If you can't control your appetite, good luck losing fat. So the way we double down on that is we use fasting, but at times we'll have lower carb days, right? Maybe like Monday through Thursday, four days, we'll bring carbs down, which temporarily at least can prevent you from having a crazy appetite. It can suppress your appetite a bit, which of course, once again, leads to you being on top of your diet a little bit better, being able to sustain a larger calorie deficit. And we just focus on eating more protein and some healthy fats. And you'll notice at times that you just don't even care about food once again. So you can get a little bit more aggressive with your calories. And I'll give you a, a very simple example. So when I'm just losing fat on a standard fat loss approach, you know, very moderate, sustainable, I'm eating like 25 to 2,600 calories a day. Plenty of food never hungry, slight deficit. I lose a pound a week roughly and I'm good to go. When I go low carb for a few days, I might drop my calories down to like 2000 or even like 1800, which is low, low, low for me, but it speeds up that process. And then I might even add on fasting to where some days a week I might only eat a thousand calories, but it doesn't feel like that right now i just want to stop for a second and tell you this is not sustainable and this is more advanced type of stuff and it should be used for very short periods of time and it should only be used once again like i said early on for people who have a very very dialed in baseline when it comes to their habits and routines do not jump into this if you've never tracked your food you've never even followed any kind of meal strategy you've never lost fat or you've never been down to you know a lower level of body fat, you gotta go through the process using sustainable methods first so that you can understand how to come back to a healthy place, right? The last thing, instead of trying to go to the gym, you know, seven days a week and double down on like hours and hours of cardio, I would make it a, ha a, a point to get a lot more steps done during your day. So if you wanna speed up fat loss and you're already kind of tapped out with nutrition strategies. You don't want to go lower in calories. You don't want to fast longer. Start hitting 15 to 20,000 steps a day, right? It doesn't have to be crazy intense walks either. Literally just leisurely walks. Go around your neighborhood. Get on the treadmill, set the treadmill at, you know, three miles an hour. Just leisurely walks, hit more steps. Make it a point to do activity while you're doing other things. You got phone calls, go for a walk while you're talking. You got emails to bang out, get on your email or set up a, a, a standing desk with a treadmill underneath. I know it sounds crazy, but like sometimes you got to do crazy things if you want crazy results. So things like that can help you get a lot more steps in during your day, which can increase the amount of total calories you burn every day. Thus, once again, leading to faster fat loss. So guys, those are my best tips for losing fat faster, especially if you're a busy person like myself. Um, what I'll tell you is that a good time to really, really push fat loss is if you've maintained a healthy level of body fat for an extended period of time using healthy, sustainable fat loss methods, and you have something coming up, like maybe it's a vacation or a birthday or an anniversary, and you say, hey, I just want to push it a little bit, see if I can get to the next level, and you got you know, six to eight weeks to get ready, that's a good time to use more advanced tactics like that. We teach this stuff in different phases of our program uh, because once again, I never want you to think that this is like how you lose fat in a healthy way. This is more of like an extreme protocol or extreme protocols that will just move the needle a little bit faster, but a good time to use it if you have that short window and you have established really good habits. Nonetheless, I hope this video helped. Hope it shed some light on some of the tactics I use to lose fat faster. If you're interested in learning more about how I can help you lose fat, go to thetruetransformation.com or just check out the links in the description of the video below. And I'll catch you on the next one. Life moves fast, make it count. See you later.